Zebra Crossing, Mercy Amidst Judgment. 20th of July 2021, Brother S. E. I had a strong urge to pray this evening. After I'd prayed in the Spirit for a while, I found myself praying that the judgments of God should come. It felt very weird, since I didn't think I would want any of it. Or, maybe I was simply scared that I wasn't ready for the answer to such a prayer. I tried to begin a prayer for mercy, but it did not work. I just kept welcoming his judgments. I think that was when I saw a zebra, running in a beautiful forest. It was running very fast, almost like a war horse. It was like it had to catch up with something. Because of its black and white colors, I had a feeling it was about justice slash judgment. Then I was shown a white horse who had moved far ahead in this forest. Then I also saw a black horse, right behind the white. I understood the two opposite colors to represent the two opposite dimensions, mercy, as the white horse, and judgment, as the black horse, respectively. Mercy had been the first season, and now it was judgment's time, as illustrated by the black horse following immediately after the white horse. After a while, the white horse and black horse were both walking side by side, and it was as if the black horse was going to overtake the white. The zebra eventually caught up with the horses, and the three of them were walking side by side, but briefly. Then they began to walk in a single file, with the white horse at the front, the black horse at the rear, and the zebra in between the horses. The focus was on the zebra. I understood it to represent a season we were in. It was a mixture of the two colors, and I had the impression it meant that people will still experience mercy in the midst of the judgment that is coming. Maybe it meant that some people will be experiencing mercy while others will experience judgment, depending on the level of genuine repentance with which they have responded to his warnings in this season, or maybe it meant people will still be experiencing mercy in the midst of their floggings. But one thing was sure, after the zebra comes the black horse. And I have the impression the zebra's time will be very short. Why a zebra? I asked. I understood that it wasn't only about the colors, but also about the function of a zebra crossing. It buys people time to cross over into safety, but the traffic is not going to wait all day for people to decide if they want to use the zebra crossing or not. If you don't use the zebra crossing now, forget it. You may get it by a vehicle. Now is a very critical period. This judgment season is not an excuse to be discouraged and wait for God's wrath to fall on your head, while making no attempt at genuine repentance. It is very dangerous to try God like that. This is what I mean, I understood it this way. Instead of thinking. It's judgment season already. There's nothing I can do. There's no hope, let God's judgment fall on me. Let me continue to sin, God's judgment will still fall on me anyway, since it's time for judgment, you should rather think this way. It's judgment season already. I have messed up for too long. Let me repent. Perhaps the Lord will look upon me and show some mercy. Perhaps he will not judge me too severely. Even if he does, I will still repent. I deserve whatever I get. Though it is not an ideal circumstance, it is very possible for this season of judgment to be a time when you become very close to God's heart, like the lamb whose leg was broken by its loving shepherd, to keep it from straying. The shepherd carries this weakened lamb on his shoulders, and it becomes attached to him. It also struck me that I wasn't supposed to try to pray away God's judgment when it was clearly time for it. It wasn't a time to ask for mercy. It was a time to agree with God's judgments. Doing otherwise would be like saying that God is wrong. I should instead agree with him, and perhaps it will please him to show mercy. After all, no one can accuse him of being unmerciful. It was when I agreed with him that the zebra came.